All right, thanks for joining me today. This is going to be the haul review of the Missoula Card Show you just saw, most recent video. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Otherwise, stick around, and it's going to be an up-close and personal kind of take and view and why I picked these cards up specifically. So let's just jump right into it. All these little sticky notes is for my tracking of what I paid for each card. So uh, this is for tax purposes far as expenses and everything like that goes into play. All right, a tools of the game, Dion Sanders, 94, I was gonna say three. This is, you don't see him too often. It's a different parallel called Special Effects, very 90s-esque with that name as well. So uh, I thought it looked clean, had a grading candidate centering far as just off, obviously, I this, Top loader is really yellowed and dirty, but I did pull it out actually of the penny sleeve while I was there. I always ask if I'm able to do that if I, I feel like I need to. And he said, yeah, yeah, fine. Uh, these aren't the lines, but there are some kind of print lines on the back possibly on this. So I'm going to see if I can go maybe find some others, but it's probably not graded, but bigger name now into the hobby of Deion Sanders. There's a lot of hype as we like to call <laughs> around him so um i think that was one of the lower cards he i broke my seal he broke his seal it was my first pickup his first sale of the day i figured might as well get the ball rolling it's kind of a weird first one you never know i, th I think your first pickup of every card show is kind of funny jumping into it it's like mm, what am i going to spend my money on first anyways we have a 2013, I think it is, 2014 Prism. I knew it was early on the blue. He had a purple and blue, paid 30, as you can see for this. The purple, I think, on the back had whitening on this corner. So this one looks better, although this corner is a little funkified. Oh, eh, it, it's all right, but I think there's maybe something going on there. <laughs> But I don't think it would warrant um, too harsh of a grade. We'll have to check out surface on this and centering. And say what you want on that. There's a little speck in there. Shouldn't be an issue. But uh, as we know, big name, early prism. Even if it's not numbered and it's a parallel, it has value. Uh, people, I think, are gravitating towards earlier prism now because... Well, whenever a new set arrives, it seems like the earlier years are always the uh, the gravitational pull towards. So um, nowadays, like I said, many, many times, there's so many different parallels. We all know in this hobby that um, you can just kind of get lost and it's pretty flooded in a sense uh, with 50 different one of ones <laughs> in like one set or something like that. I don't even know what it is now anymore. I don't pay attention to it. Uh, tried to when I first got in the hobby back in COVID 2020 days, but uh, not so much. On it. All right, uh, 50, I think I paid for both of these. I I walked up to his table. Thomas, thanks for the deal. If you're watching this, um, they I think both said 40. I've pulled all the stickers off of most of these. And I walked away. I saw these and they caught my eye. And I was like, yeah, let me just go look at what they're going for. I want to eBay. This guy's a little higher, I think than possibly these although the, i've i've done very well with the logo uh especially if you can find like there's the team logo instead of the panini logo those are really really hot but nonetheless legion of boom big huge kind of draw on this especially to seattle seahawks fans or defensive era type-esque um collectors so uh, we'll see how these do. Again, it's earlier Prism, so that's the draw for me on, on there. And then, of course, what I talked about. Um, so, I, I mean, there was no comps on, on this guy, so I, it was kind of just like shooting the ballpark. But I um, should be doing all right with both all, all of those so far. I, I believe we'll check out the Dion later. But there's value already with, with these types of cards. All right, next... Yeah, was this paid 30 for this lot? This is a rookie year. It's not a big card. I guess you can say it's on card or 
I, not really, actually. That's a stick. <laughs> what am I saying? That's a sticker, but uh, it's a different type of clear. It's a. Uh, it's not the clear sticker that we're used to these days. It's kind of a hollow graphic type finish there. But again, rookie year, Roddy White, relatively big name during the time. Uh, game worn. You don't see that any too often anymore nowadays. Numbered out of 200. Uh, thicker card, edge wear already showing, but uh, in corner, pa paper loss there, but it's kind of a throw on. Um, I was digging through his box. It seems like all the sellers this year that I normally buy from didn't have the greatest stuff anymore for whatever reason, so it was kind of interesting. I bought from this guy quite a bit in past, past shows. Garrison Hurst, First day production on the 93 Stadium Club. This would be his rookie card. For some, whatever reason, I found a lot of 90s kind of rare, rarer stuff, I guess I should say. Or maybe I'm just being more cognizant of uh, looking up for it. This guy, kind of true to my heart type of thing. He was a Niner, so uh, he had a big, huge run to take us to the playoffs or into the playoffs, I think, one year, like 98 yards in overtime or something like that. Uh, I believe that was the case. I don't think it was during the playoffs, but I do remember. Uh, if you're a Niners fan, you know what run I'm talking about, his rush, that rushing uh, up the sideline. Jerome Bettis, this is his rookie year, 93, first day issue. These, I think, are num they're not numbered, but unconfirmed. Uh, they're in the range of 1,000 to 2,000 printed it seems to be like so a little bit of a rarity his portrait shot i think with something in the background where it's just kind of him in street clothes that card goes for a little bit higher um but to get a rare rarer rookie year of drone bennis hall of famer there so um yeah on that kiko alonzo <laughs> On card auto, numbered out of 20. This is his second year, I want to say. Because um, they're talking about his his rookie season last year on the back here. Um, again, all these for $30. It was kind of a reach on, on kind of the, the left hand here. But for the most part, these two part pretty much equal equal that. And then these are kind of throwing some. How I'm visualizing that. We'll just throw those over there. Uh, the next lot was actually a pretty good lot too. 40 for everything. This one I was able to find five cards. I was going to leave the second card out. It's not too biggie, but we have a totally, totally <laughs> certified. I can't speak right now. Rookie year of Tony Gonzalez. Uh, top three, top five tight end, I would say, ever. You can... Right now, probably argue these top two, top three. 97 is rookie year numbered at 499. So a little bit of rarity type of rookie card. Let me know if you are a peel on or off type of person. Uh, I go back and forth on this a lot. I don't know whether if this card does check out good enough to grade. Um, and everything that I was picking up, this is why you got to love card shows. I was, you can never tell surface until you pull out of the sleeve, truly. But you can go, but you can definitely always see edge wear, corners, uh, very easily, of course, centering uh, when you have the cards in hand. So uh, that's what I was going off of on a lot of these cards, in a sense, making sure that they're they're clean to my eye before I get them under the magnifying lens but yeah i don't know what to do with the peel off sticker-esque type of thing there's another card of ken griffey coming up that same thing same year i believe or it might be a different year i can't remember but um i don't know what to do on <laughs> on those a lot of people keep them on and others you actually i prefer actually to see the card instead of the sticker over it, but I also understand the sense of preservation, keeping the card as it came from the factory type aspects. So uh, let me know where you stand on that type. I'm curious with others. 
Or is it, like I said, also depending on the card. Rookie year here, 2001. Uh, this is playoff Donruss, I believe. Donner's Classics. Uh, number 475. I don't know if this is like a Golds or what. Obviously, it's paper. He said it was a throw-in. Uh, I was kind of confused when I first came across this card. I was like, on-card auto? That doesn't... That I, I wouldn't expect it. I don't know much about the Sports Illustrated autographs. Um, but they are a thing. And uh, that's a pretty big, decent name to grab for... for someone <laughs> was trying to collect some roger craig autos so yeah this is the like second auto i've picked up in the last of him in the past like two weeks kind of interesting how that works <laughs> but nonetheless an on-card auto it's an interesting auto but i will take it i mean would i pay for this 40 i want to say for all five of these so uh this card alone the blue wave since color matching out the check surface but I think there were several of these. There was a few other Topps Chrome, and just some of them were a little off-center, so I, I held them back out of pulling them out of here. I think there was, like, a DeAndre Hopkins and some more of these. and I mean, of course, I could, probably could have just picked them all up and then sold what I didn't like, but didn't go that route this time. This seemed to be the cleanest one. But, yeah, I think, like I was saying, I think this card is around $25 to close to 30 so it's almost uh, three-quarters of what I paid for for all these and like basically these two would pay for normally you could get your money back with these two cards and then the rest would be for free or however you want to work it with all these Keen Allen just based refractor on the 2013 these are obviously not numbered none of the refractors were except the 2001 refractors from Topps Chrome uh, we'll start stacking over there this next one, paid 10 for these two. He had five. I put this guy in another top loader, or yeah, I think it was in a top loader. He had eight on this. So got them both for 10. This is Sebastian Janikowski's rookie year. So, I mean, there's enough of a following in the state of Florida for this guy, I would assume. And everything he did for that university, Florida State. And uh, just the kind of aspect he was being a, a, a guy in the league of, <laughs> well, we won't get into the stories, but there's plenty of them, and you can go look them up if you feel curious on that. But uh, we'll see. It, it, I was just trying to find something else to where I could throw this in and get two cards for 10 bucks, And uh, this basically struck with that. So uh, this table is like full, nothing but Raiders, Raiders only. So if you were at this show, you probably familiar maybe what this table is like in the corner it was kind of like they just had a raiders collection and was just unloading it all uh like speaking of collections legacy collection here on the flare showcase 97 97 this is numbered out of 100 row zero this is basically the best of the best that you can get row zero is it. There's row one and two. I don't think there's a row three. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I, like I said, I, I think I found my next niche of cards getting into rare parallel 90s cards. Uh, Teapot from Market Movers or whatever, uh, I think is the channel through Sports Card um, Investor. Uh, just did kind of a, hey, do you know about these? And I've always known about PMGs and everything like that, but uh, I've never really indulged and put some effort and research and time, and I think that's what I'm going... I mean, I was a kind of a 90s kid. That was my highlight of the, the years before cell phones. So, um, yeah, I was, I was still collecting back in 93, 94, 95. That's where I stopped, because then we started hitting junior high. I don't think I was doing much collecting to my later years of grade school so it was the earlier years of grade school paid for 15 on both of these jamal anderson it's an earlier or, or recent i should say optic on this guy sticker auto of course but the dirty bird inventor right there in a sense if you know what i'm talking about if you don't go look it up and jamal anderson so you can't really go wrong on this i mean both of these cards hover around 10 ten dollars i would say selling 
and uh, we all know the name Brady. If I was able to snag a gen on this dependent on surface, uh, there's value there. Otherwise, basically, if you hit a nine, you're breaking even in a sense on this card. So it's kind of one of those toss up risk factors, but also it's worth, in a sense, the, the gamble. The only vintage for the PC, actually both these, this one and the next sir for the PC, paid 250 at it. As you can see, 300 sticker on there. Uh, this was an interesting conversation, and I couldn't explain myself very well at the time. Um, what do you think? Is that a pre-grade or is that a grade? It is a grade, but in my head, the grade can change once you send this in to get actually encapsulated and graded. So I was having a hard time explaining that. I get it. It is a grade. We all understand that. But in my head, it's just a pre-grade. What I do before I send my cards out, it's a pre-grade. It just happens to be pre-graded by Beckett. So um, that's what you're getting on there, which goes, there's value to that. I'm not denying that there's not. But I don't have the 56. I want to say, I don't know if this is a gray back. I know the lighting is not going to be able to kind of show exactly what this is. I think it's a white back. And from my understanding, I mean, here's just 2022, 2023 white compared to uh, 70 years ago, almost 65 in that range. I can't, I'm not going to do the math. So I don't know. Let me know if you're if you're more savvy on the, your gray and, and white backs. From what I recall, up to a card like 180, I think, if I remember right, uh, the gray backs were more rare compared to the white backs. And then after card number 180, it flip flopped. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong on that. But um, nonetheless, we'll send this in. I'm I've, Got a, a pile going of vintage, just waiting for a special, probably like many of us, before sending them in. Frank Gore, rookie year. Bowman Chrome, don't have this card. Auto, it's not numbered. Auto's definitely showing its age a little bit with the ink presentation there. But they're hard to find. Farmed. Hard to find. Uh, they're getting a little bit more rare and rare, but capturing rookie autos, specifically of Frank Gore, even just any auto of his are, are actually pretty rare in a sense. So good to have this in hand. Unfortunately, it's not a refractor. Uh, probably could start getting an eBay search to find that stuff, but I stumbled across it. I saw 100. It seemed a little high in my head. Or reasonable, and I was just like, let me look and see what these are going for. Found two that went for like 60 to 50 all range, so uh, they were comfortable with 50, and so was I, since they're a little bit hard to catch, especially in the wild, <laughs> let alone eBay. 20 on these two, try to wrap this up a little bit more quicker. I uh, actually picked up two kind of lots. Saw this guy again early Panini blue prism. It is an insert. Eh, it's Brady. He sells. We know he's got a market. So uh, that's why I pulled the trigger. Se second year prism right there, 2013. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Don't have to go any. That's self explanatory stuff right there. Like I said, with kind of the Aaron Rodgers. Ken Griffey on the totally certified promo sample platinum or mirror gold, however you want to say this guy. Uh, what is this? Yeah, 97. Again, so same year. I, th I thought it was the same year as that. Uh, Gonzalez, Tony Gonzalez. This guy's all over the place. He he's. I don't know if it was a outlier sale that went for 50, because um, the listing I think is back up. So whether someone didn't pay, but there's also cards. They flutter around the 25, 30, regardless. I, I think this was enough of a deal to pick up. And 
that name alone sells. So pretty easy on those two. It's like the two easiest names you can always pick up for cheap and have potential value uh, afterhand. $15 for, yeah, these four. I think he, I had both of these out and he's, I think this had 10 and I don't know if this is the original or if I put it in, this might've had five or 10. I think it might've had 10, I can't remember. I think I put it in a new top loader. And he's like, yeah, I'll give both these for you to, for 10. And I was like, okay, this guy wants to wheel and deal. Or at least they're trying to get rid of the cards. So um, it was very accommodating. And then basically these other two were throw-ins. Um, this is Kurt Warner. I think it's called Galvanized or something. There's a there's a name for the, the parallel you see here. These were numbered. Out of, well, there I think there was different numbering. It's collector's edge but this is a rookie year 1999 so as we know he was <laughs> well well within football's uh pre what am i trying to say playing years wow that was <laughs> tongue twister or just wheel around anyways Kurt warner 99 and his rams jersey early rams jersey too which is even better i would feel feel before they made that weird gold change uh that we all know about kind of in the their greatest show and turf or i guess there was the uh that was like the changeover during that time anyways masters collector's edge there's value rookie year numbered demarco murray on card auto not numbered uh before prism even was around 2011 one year before Relatively big name, still heavy maybe with uh, certain Cowboys fans that will not stay in the house just like this card will not. Another flare showcase. This is the style. So number row two. So yeah, the, this is a few dollars, a few dollars, both of these. So basically throw-ins for the 10 and then these would easily equal the... Uh, the five even though it says 10 so that's how i was kind of approaching it he said 10 for both these i said well 10 must equal five then for that if 10 and 10 get it got it good that's the pickups of the show thank you for joining me today um i am forgetting one last card kurt warner on card auto hall of fame a lot of kurt warner and a lot of yeah other stuff 90s kind of goes that way uh, this had a one ninety nine or $200 price tag on eBay and someone sent an offer for one seventy. It was literally the same card except out of 15. I think the patch was maybe a little bit more sweeter compared to this one. But it is a rare enough of a card. It is a big set, flawless, and a relatively big name. Unfortunately, in an Arizona uniform, it would have been sweeter if he's got the Rams jersey on but this one's to investigate possibly add value to that guy since there's quite a few things going for it so now we can wrap up the video thank you for joining me for today on these pickups let me know what your favorite pickup card was what you thought of any of the cards on the screen thank you again as always for joining me take care have a good one